access the internet from your Thunderbolt, tap on the internet shortcut. If you don't see this shortcut on your home screen, this can also be found in the app launcher. Out of the box, the home page is set to Google. At the top of the screen is the URL bar. Tapping here, you can enter specific URLs. As you'll see when the keyboard comes up, there is now a .com button, which you can use to automatically add on the .com suffix. Press enter to open the page. Double tapping on the screen will zoom in, and double tapping again will zoom out. You can also use the multi-touch capability in order to pinch to zoom in or out. If you've zoomed in on the web page and it is too large to show on the screen, you can drag your finger around to navigate through. A long press on an image will give you the options to save the image, view it, set it as wallpaper, or share it. To save a bookmark, open the pop-up menu and select Add Bookmark. Here, you can give your bookmark a custom name, and you can take the web page showing, or you can enter a different URL. Here, I'm renaming my bookmark HTC Website. Tap Add when you're done, and your bookmark will be saved. Opening the pop-up menu again, you can select the Windows option. On the Thunderbolt, you can have different windows open with multiple websites. This allows you to quickly jump between websites without having to close and reopen pages. To create a new window, tap on the plus icon. I'm choosing to go to Google. When you're typing in a website, the Thunderbolt will automatically display any website in your history or bookmarks that match the URL you're typing. Tapping on a result will open it. Tapping on the Google search bar, recent searches will be shown below. And typing in your search criteria, Google will instantly suggest matching searches. Press enter to execute the search. Using Google on your phone is just like using it on your computer. Results will be displayed by relevance. You can scroll through the results with your finger, and tapping on a link will open it. Opening the pop-up menu, you can use the back and forward arrows to navigate through the pages you've accessed in this window. Tapping on the Windows icon again, you can see that I now have two windows open. To switch between windows, scroll through until you find the window you want to view, and tap on it to launch. To close any windows that you have opened, tap on the gray X in the upper right corner of the window preview. If you only have one window open, you won't see the option to close it. To access your bookmarks, open the pop-up menu and tap on the bookmarks icon. Here, you'll see thumbnails and labels showing all of your bookmarks. Tap on the bookmark you want to open and the web page will launch in the window you are currently viewing. Tapping on the more option from the pop-up menu gives you additional options. Here, you're able to go to your home page by tapping on the home option. Opening the more menu again, you can also search for text on a page. Choosing text selection, you can highlight text on the page you are currently viewing. Once you've selected text, you'll see options to copy, quick lookup, and share. Tapping on page info will give you information including the page name and address.
selecting share, this page will give you different options to send the website's URL to your friends and family. Opening downloads will show you your download history. If you're currently downloading any files, you can find information about their progress here. Selecting history will give you options to view up to the last month of accessed web pages. Along the bottom, you have three options, bookmarks, most visited, and history. Opening the pop-up menu here will give you the option to clear your history. The last option under the More menu is for browser settings. Under here, you can find options to set your home page, block pop-up windows, enable JavaScript, set the text size, clear your cookies, cache, history, and more.